everyone, I'm Donna Steele and this is an FNN News Break. In sports news, Super Bowl Sunday was followed up this year with an unusual contest, Super Bowl Monday. Sponsored by Tushy, a company that makes bidets, entrants were encouraged to post pictures of their poo after copious Super Bowl snacking, giving new meaning to the phrase, photo dump, and reminding us that social media is a literal shit show. Each entry in the odious event will be judged on texture, color, mass, and extra flair. The perfect pile of dubious dung will be chosen by three judges who clearly have no shame or gag reflex. Whoever produces the most phenomenal feces wins $10,000, a tushy bidet, a free colon screening, and of course, the honor of being regarded as one of the grossest people in human history. What is it, Randy? Do you have any? Oh! Randy! Is that the biggest crap you've ever seen or what? In holiday news, Valentine's Day was last week and the Bronx Zoo is giving you the gift that keeps on giving, with the opportunity to name a cockroach after a loved one. For only $15, you can commemorate the love of your life by bestowing a cuddly cockroach with your mate's moniker. While some love the idea of naming creepy creatures like cockroaches because it helps remove the stigma they carry, others decry the decision claiming that no human name could ever be applied to the boorish bugs, as they are too vile and revolting. Despite the drama, the program has proved to be a huge success, with Joe and Karen in a tie for the second most popular names, and Hillary taking the top spot. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless America. In political news, the Biden administration has proposed that the government provide drug addicts with a safe alternative to shooting crack. Smoking it! Under the proposal, the harm reduction program would distribute clean, government-approved crack pipes and other drug paraphernalia to impoverished areas with particular emphasis on marginalized communities. While the program is meant to balance social inequities, critics claim that indulging bad criminal behavior may not be the best way to solve it. Despite criticism, the White House has doubled down, announcing more equity programs to provide free materials including non-spill travel mugs for drunk drivers, mobility scooters for shoplifters, and assorted melee weapons for street gangs. Come get a taste. In other news, two young men in Ireland tried to collect a dead man's pension from the post office. According to police reports, one of the men had previously inquired about picking up a check for someone else, but was informed that the proper recipient needed to be present. He later returned with his friend and an older gentleman who was in fact the proper recipient, but also very clearly dead. As soon as the two men were questioned by the staff, they fled the scene, leaving the dead man to fend for himself. Townsfolk were shocked to think that anyone would attempt to exploit a dead person in that way. However, Residents of the United States were unfazed by the idea of a corpse being used in a sham, most likely due to the current presidential administration. Of, uh, of uh, the, um, of, you know, this is, they're there. In other news, homelessness in the San Francisco Bay Area has reached an all-time high. The problem has become so troubling that local government is asking homeowners to charitably allow a homeless person to take shelter in a spare bedroom. While this proposition has been met with some criticism, supporters of the plan are already signing up as volunteers, stating that they would love to be a part of the movement to help the homeless and redistribute some of the resources from the wealthy to the poor. So far, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, who represents San Francisco and has a net worth of $120 million and two mansions, has not yet offered any of her spare rooms for the cause. But we're certain she's preparing to do her part at this very moment. After all, it's for the children. When people ask me what are the three most important issues facing the Congress, I always say the same thing. Our children, our children, our children. I'm Donna Steele, and this has been an FNN News Break.